Hello folks and welcome back to No Man's Land and as you can see here we've got a bit of timber work to do because the mini sawmill that has run out of timber so we need to get that fed and actually one thing I didn't check is our normal sawmill how is that doing? okay so good so what's that another three months so yeah it's getting a bit though but that's not crucial but what is crucial is the main sawmill so if we get a bunch of timber in then I think for sure we'll be able to get that sorted come on get up there we go uh, immediately just going to go straight for some of these bigger trees just get them out of the way can we still have that forest over there let's get out of here that forest over there to clear off that's going to be a very good source of timber for the sawmills as well. There we go. Drag you down. I think after this, that should be fine. There we go. Just get ourselves free there. And that's one. So yeah, our plan for this episode is really just get things cleared up get on top of things maybe some some stuff today but that really depends on if we can get stuff coming through and ready to sell planks are not gonna be ready for another two three months so I'm not too worried on that yet and obviously on the back of the last episode where we were sort of worrying about whether or not we could actually get the money in that for the sawmill well for the sawmill for the Harvesters for the well, the common one we need to go for the big one. That's not an option, that's not up for debate. As well as the potato harvester, and that where we go with the base game one or the modded version with the forest pickup. There's a couple of options there on that. So, just going to grab this. There we go. And the good thing is we don't stick to the trail all the time now because this is the standard one. Half changed configuration so it's not the auto load bell one anymore so lock forks come up a lot easier now because it's not blocked by the bell auto load function. Yeah I couldn't quite figure out that, that's why I was having so many struggles in that. Obviously we do have the our main semi trailer that could be converted back into a logging trailer but it's not going to be so many logs we're picking up here so that one's just been an absolute pain so I think one of the best thing to do is do a quick jump cut so get us all loaded up you've seen me do the timber up many times well a couple of times before not many times I have opportunities for that to come up but got a few things to do so yeah we'll quick get us loaded up and then takes over to the main sawmill. And there we go, that is the timber loaded. We did take another tree or two down, I will admit, off camera. I thought the tree looks a bit light, so we just cut, I think, one or two big trees out, and about three or four of the smaller trees. And we can drive over to Chicken Beaks, thankfully, at the moment. Oh, yeah, well, that's one thing I was going to do finally get rid of these pesky stumps because these are have been a pain in the rear end since we created this field or it did its extension so yeah the reason is it just makes it AI worker life's a lot more difficult of they'll just skip this bit okay miss that bit there also I did notice with the wheat spraying like we did off camera in the last episode it's like the little bit of preventive spraying we did actually worked out really well. It just looks like a normal field. Obviously the dead weeds they will go eventually, but but yeah, we'll try to do preventive spraying if we can. And now we know that actually works because yeah, I've like, never done it before. I was a bit curious. I was letting the worker do it, so I was assuming it was okay, but. I think I wasn't sure because we tried to do it on the grass field, but the grass doesn't have weeds growing, so. 
also with the money situation, we are going to sell our sorghum and our soybeans today. And I think, yeah, I got the workers to take them to the shop, so they're ready to be sold. So we'll quickly deal with that. And that is those stumps gone. And uh, yeah, I was wondering, how are our trees going? Honestly, I don't think we'll start seeing them grow until the summer and that. Because all over here is our new forestry area. Powering along with these trees, same trees. Could go on with the different tree saplings, but... Okay, are they grown yet? Have they grown? Yeah, I think so. They're, that's in the second growth state, so... They're popping up actually quite nice, so now... You can actually see how dense this is going to be. Oh, a couple of stumps, might as well get rid of them if we can. I'm not overly worried about removing these ones. Yeah, I think I'll go around. If I, if I come across them, like, this one ahead, then yeah, sure, I'll get rid of it. There's the second one. Is that one gone? Yep. And then, the last one. Well, oh, okay, there's another two. Alright, we'll get rid of those. But yeah, I think, I know what I was going to say about the money situation. I've done some quick math, and I think with what we're going to do, maybe the thumbnail or the title of this episode, but yeah, seriously, what we've got to deal with those chickens. Okay, alright. So now I'll turn around. There we go. So it's got literally nothing, it's bone dry. That is 21,000 years. And that's going to last out a fair while. Okay, we didn't turn it off. We sh may have should have, but... Yeah, what's that? 6,800. That's... Yeah, 6,000... No, 12, 7,200. It's going to last a few months, so we need to top that up again. Oh, it's not going to the fields. But yeah, so back to these. So, well, first of all, sell our sorghum. Best place is that to sell everything container. We'll wait the worker to we'll wait for that to empty, and then we'll see how much we get for the soybeans. Twenty-three grand for those. And soybeans, we should get about 60, 65 grand out of this. 63 grand, bang in the middle. So you not, know I am happy with that. Because we really need to get this grass in. Obviously this field is fully fertilized, fully lined. And the way I did it, obviously when we mowed the grass, there was no fertilizer state. So once we created a field, I ploughed it, fertilised it, limed it, and then fertilised it again. Or the other way around the bit, because as you can see patches of lime where we accidentally miss a bit of fertilising first of all, but... But yeah, with the chickens, what I'm thinking... If we go into animals... Chickens... I'm half tempted to go with these ones, because I think these ones are by Umatona. So I'm rethinking. And now we don't have the cows over here. We can go over here, I'm sure. Actually, what? Those. We might as well just sell those. We're not going to use those. And if we need them again, then okay, fair enough. We just buy one. Because they're at an absolute bargain price, they are. Don't feel getting much money, but some money is better than no money. Because, so yeah, that 1,000 a year feeding capacity. Okay, alright, it's realistic. Because, obviously, it is, a, it is literally just a couple of wooden coops and that. 
and some fences, so it ain't gonna have that capacity of like a silo or where it can store like 10,000, 20, 30,000 litres of whatever crop it is, but actually, also, when's the planting window for wheat and barley? If you get enough money, I want to put wheat in the field today. Unless we get a new field and do oats and that'd be ready in August, but yeah, I'm not sure now. We need to earn m more money first of all, because we're going to do the chickens first of all and that's just enough money for chickens as well as the harvesters, but yeah, this should get a couple of grand back. Okay, that one's slightly newer. Much more per you wash for here. But yeah, I'm still tempted to also sell this to get the John the John Deere um, large tractor. Which one is it? Somewhere down there. Yeah, the 9X30T. Big horsepower, but I'm actually quite liking the case. I was tempted about selling this, but I may not now. But yeah, so back on to this. We could do oats and do a late harvest, but we need hay, we need silage to feed to get the TMR. I know we can sell the TMR if we need to, but I don't think you get much money. I think it's something like I did a little quick test and it's like for a hundred thousand litres of TMR you only get eight grand. It's not even worth it selling TMR, it might as well sell slightage. But of course we're not doing that, that's one thing I had to say, we're not selling slightage anymore. Or sell much of it. We may still sell some, but... Majority, not even like 5% of it, is going to be for our cows. And once we get the harvesters and that, then we can start looking at getting... Like, the fowls and cows. I would love to have a thousand cows on this series. A thousand cows, a thousand pigs, a thousand sheep, a thousand chickens, a thousand everything. But that's going to be a quite a ways away, so... What I'm going to do first of all is just do this bit over here, just this little section. And then we'll start doing the heads in and get the worker on this, so... That means get us all done in a little time lapse. Had me down for the count. I was on nine nine all the time. Shattered soul, you took control. But now I'm gone bye bye. Bring the fire. You took something beautiful and made it something cool. All that I get from you You're so delusional Now watch me take control I've been running, running from myself Like I'm somebody else Kinda left me alone All the love is gone Now I'm coming around Got a stake in the ground Gonna stick it to you I'm gonna let you go Let you go Let, let you go Let, let, let you go Take it to you Let you go Let, let, let you go Let, let, let 
So with all of that done now, the grass is seeded, rolled, and that's ready to go. And we do have some milk over here, 15,000 litres from the cows. And this is going to go straight into the production, so we can get some butter and some cheese. The cheese is for selling, the butter is for making cakes. Let's just offload that. And to make cake we need a bit of everything, including eggs. Ah, dang it, left the eggs over there. Sure. Let's unstrap those, so let's put some eggs in. Where's the John Deere tool? No, not that one. That one! Detach you from that. From the crampy. Because, yeah, cakes is going to be worth doing, I think, so... And it's a bit of a slow production as well, so... Oop. No, I, I just want this. I don't want nothing else. Let's get on the ground then. There we go, that's it, that's it. Ugh, for freak. Is that working? Okay, a bit more so, yes. So, trick is get everything detached, not knock it over. I said to not <laughs> knock it over. Anything to use more cat at the moment? Nope. Oh, regardless. There we go. Pick Hughes up. Eggs are going in. Yes or no, flowers and mushrooms ain't accepted. But man, we really need more eggs. I need to sort out those chickens. I do have a full tipper of the... Oh, what's the brand of the other tray we got? Yeah, the agroliner was it? Yeah, that, that's filled up with wheats. So that is going to be used for feed for the chickens. And I was thinking about putting the new chicken coops over there, but I remember we planted some trees and that old coop is quite close to the border. Actually, it is over the border of the next property, so can't do that. Got some oils. And all this is just a bit of money making. Because I am also half tempted about getting a proper spinnery now, like an upgraded spinnery. So I think there is a mod bomb which you can get to close from fabric, no not from fabric, from cotton and wool. So I'm going to send that over to the shop there. And we'll sell everything at the sell everything container I think is the best price on average for a lot of this I think. Have a quick look, flowers and mushrooms. Farm shop, oh yeah sell everything container. Whilst we've got the oils. Some flour, as you know, farm shop. Farm shop it is then, and I was looking at something else. So let's get rid of these chickens now and swap them over. So, going to you. Yeah, we ain't got a tiny bit of feed there, so. Gonna make some money back on these chickens. I think. Money's going to go to the new chickens. So the coop. So yeah, less than half of our money back. 
So yeah, let's go over here and put down some chickens next to our sheep. So animals, chickens, I'm thinking this. Actually, we may need to put the info triggers on so I know where exactly everything comes out. All the interactive markers. And really, you can stick with one, but if we can get away with two, we'll produce a ton of eggs. So the eggs come out of there, so if we say like that, that's enough space to get a front loader in and grab the eggs. What's what's the issue? That's one. And we can get a second one in. I think we can. Let's go to there. Nice. So landscaping, painting, and that was a dirt texture we had, so let's go and sort that out. Obviously when we get the workers doing this field, we will do this part ourselves. Smooth out the field a bit. There we go, like so. Now that's looking nice. And these chickens are going to be very expensive. Including the feed. Because remember, we haven't got any feed yet, so we need to buy the feed for the chickens. And you know what? I'm going to go straight into these. And it's going to be a bit of time, so what I'm going to do is get us done off camera, and then I'll see you folks in a second. That's the chicken sport, and yeah, they were expensive. And I bought some feed, a lot of it was cheap feed. Also, we did have to fill up the rest of the fryer of the shop, so... Yeah, pretty expensive that was, so... Please make some money back for these flowers and mushrooms. Ah, that's better. So we're back at 98 grand. So that is enough chicken feed for how long? Oh, I have absolutely no idea, to be honest. That's just going to go over here. And we'll go into. I thought we had some chicken feed already. Ah, no, we need to pick it up, don't we? So, okay, we'll grab the fence. No idea how much it's going to cost us in total, but overall, it's going to be worth it at the end, definitely for sure. 1600 chickens. I think before we had, was it like 360 or so? 360, 400? So we've quadrupled our chickens. That means we need to keep on feed, especially make sure they're kept up fed. And hopefully, this ain't just a thousand litres of feed they need, like the other one, because yeah, that was a lot. It literally twice a day we had to keep an eye on it and top it up in 24 periods and that was just too much work for us that was so hopefully this works out well a lot of money sunk into it so I'm expecting to see some results very quickly and when is the best price to sell eggs actually out of interest because I'm no ring I have all the eggs going into the production. Better stop before I crash into your sheeps. Well, they're 
good price in June at 1600, 1700. And then, yes, we'll sell some in June, whatever we get. And then we'll do the rest in November ish time. So hopefully that works out well for us, but you never know. So first of the feet going in. And how much it is, it's gonna fill chickens, well it's more than a thousand liters. I think we hit the silo there, so actually let's get ourselves positioned up a bit better there, so so we're flush on the side so we're not hitting that. There we go. Sweet. There we go. Have a look at these chickens. 20,000 litres and what? That is fine by me, that is manageable. Hopefully they consume that very quickly. And then we'll get rid of you. Okay, all that is going in, that is good. We'll dump you over there. We do need to pick up some Surrey and perhaps some cell summon out, but actually no, which one was it? John not that John Deere? This one. Because the sheep need hay. But I think the amount of hay we're producing there ain't gonna need all of that, so what I'm gonna do is I've transferred some over into the fermenting silo. And how much we got left in here? 140,000 litres. There's 82,000 years in there, so we'll make some hay silage. Just get some bulk silage done, because I do think we are going to need to sell at least one tray load, one of these smaller tray loads. Not the massive one, 100,000 years. So actually, if we detach you and attach that. Put some more air over here. Because we need to get a lot of this, just get rid of it. So that's going to take some time to figure out. So I think a quick time lapse, get all this transferred over, we'll top up the sheeps, and then I just think, yeah. Good way to end the episode, I think. Silo because that was full. All the hay that was in there is being fermented. So got plenty enough hay for the sheep for now. Next batch of grass that we cut is going to be converted into hay. Because yeah, we've got plenty of silage underway now. So now we just keep up with the hay. 
Uh, I think we'll get about because if we because we planted in April, so May if June's and August is hay is what well, grass is hay. Then October's could be silage, and that should be just enough. As well, the amount of TMR we're producing this could be enough for the cows for a while. But rather get it done now, get it all stacked up, then when we focus on other stuff, we don't need to worry about it. So we did make some adjustments to the greenhouses, so we have a little look. Basically, what we've done is set lettuce, strawberries, and tomatoes. Well, no, well. I thought we did. We'll set all these to sell. Corn we're keeping. Soybeans we're selling. Potatoes we're selling. Yeah, it just saves a hassle of us doing it ourselves, so. Okay, that's done, I think. Yep. This one needs to be set to sell. Sell and sell. Yeah, it's just extra hassle for us to transport all these all the time. Got plenty of strawberries for now for the cake, so don't need to worry about that for some time. But yeah, I'm definitely tempted to get another like spinnery now. Not sure how much the modded one I was on about earlier is. I think it's one more greenhouse. Nope, that's it. Maybe we'll sort restoring. Man, we've got quite a bit of sugar and a ton of flour still. How much is flour for good for at the moment? Because we could sell some more flour. If it's worth selling now. Which I pretty much doubt. Uh, well, it's okay till about April, well, until end of April. So, I think sorry. Next episode, we sell a bunch of flour. Similar with bread. Asking for that. Breads will store. Cakes for storing. And we are producing some cakes. That's good. What is the recipe for cake? How long is it? Like once a month? No, Ooh, less than that. Ooh, it's going to be about a month and a half before we get a cake, so. You know what? That is fine. Is there anything. many flowers or mushrooms over here worth grabbing now? Ooh, two mushrooms and a flower. So let's go and grab those. We'll grab some clothes. So I think we have a pack of clothes. Yeah, I think that is close to me. Yep. And I think we'll sell these. Clothes is at its peak now, or I think it's April, May-ish time, so we'll get a bit of extra cash in to end the episode. And then that will really help us with the into the next episode into basically what we can afford. We'll redo some math after all those chickens, all that money spent on chickens. Because I'm... Actually, how much is that spin room? Have a look. Hopefully I've got that enabled. Production, factories. No, it's not the platinum DLC. We do have a dairy, so we can get some chocolate as well, I'm um, not sure what that one is, it raw milk? No, it's not the farm factory. Half time to get also buy ourselves, or build ourselves a greenhouse, or not greenhouse, a BGA, but that's like going to be at least half a million. Can you get some gold on the way, because all we need for gold is Methane, rocks, and water. So, and we get methane from sugar beets, potato, silage, manure, surrey. Mm, 
tempted. I am tempted on that. Pancakes, nope. No, not pig food production. No, not that spinnery. Do I even have it enabled? I don't think I do, actually. <laughs> we'll go back to the beginning. Yeah, so many mods I've got is enabled, so... It's not Platinum DLC. What's the first one after that? Ah, there we go. That's it, the clothing factory. So I think that could be a good spot. Uh, no, not really. Unless we sort of cut these trees down. If we get to there, then yes. Because I did say we want that. And also we want a carpentry business. Is there one with the platinum DLC? No, not, not the paper factory. Or even just a base game one. Actually, that would look nice. So, yeah. I think if we, say, cut this back halfway. Clear all this. Smooth all this out. Yeah, some possible options for us. So, actually, you know what? I think that's why we're ending it for today. Everything will sell at the start of next episode. We'll say in April for that. And then we'll quit skip on to May. Because, yeah, actually, that, that sounds like a good plan. Or at least for the clothing, because that is a better production overall. Saves hand to convert into fabric. And general recipe is more of the wool goes into clothing and then the day that is what's most important for us so yeah as always i hope you enjoyed the episode if so smash that button feel free to come down below if you want to share us then please be my guest if you're not subscribed to the channel yet then please consider but for you to do hope you have a nice day but for now this is me farmer envoy stream and i'll see you all very soon